Internet, good morning. Daybreak 748 coming back at you guys with a new video. Today, as you can see, I will be sharing with you a new purchase that I made that will hopefully be something that I utilize to store my more expensive items uh, in a nice presentable way. So here we go. As you know, for the longest time, I've been collecting a bunch of graded cards. I've been collecting a bunch of one touches. I've been collecting lots and lots of these right here, which I'm actually going to be using for something else, the screw downs. And these are great and all, but they don't really display well. The reason why I say that is because oftentimes they're too thick for us to actually put in a binder and stuff like that. So usually what will end up happening is they will be put or stored away in something like this if they're not on display. Now, that's great and all, but as a person who likes to look at their beautiful collection, uh, it's sometimes kind of a nuisance to have to go through all of the PSA graded cards. Instead, um, maybe having something like this might be something better. Now, you might be like, oh, snap. Daybreak, are you talking about, are you telling me that there is a, a binder for graded cards? The answer is no. <laughs> uh, that is a no-go. However, if you guys use top loaders, you we might have some options. Now, here we go. This is actually a top loader binder that I found on eBay. Now, just giving you a fair warning with this one. Uh, this one, I looked all around. There's literally no branding whatsoever. Now, what do I mean by branded? Each company, when they create a binder or something, they want them, they want to be recognized, obviously. So if, for example, we have this two by two binder right here from Ultra Pro, it's stamped right here. So clearly this is an Ultra Pro binder. Even with Dragon Shield, you might be like, David, there's nothing on here. Yeah, you're right. But if you look towards the back, Dragon Shield right there, embossed. So, they want to receive their recognition. However, this one caught my attention because there was literally nothing on here. So if you look, if you open up, there's nothing here. Like even the back end, nothing here. On the very back, nothing here. On the spine, literally nothing. So who made this? I don't know. I actually found this binder uh, on eBay and it got great reviews. So that's why I decided to pick this one up. Now, maybe it's just this uh, in this eBay person who's making these and se selling it. That might be the case, but I can't, I, for the life of me, I couldn't find out who was actually making this. Now, something to note about these types of binders, they are quite expensive. When it, if you get some that are the more well-known, um, I guess binders when it comes to top loader binders, they go anywhere. So for example, this two by two binder that I showcased, this is just a basic ultra pro one, but a top loader version of this two by two would go for 40 to $60, depending on the company. If you get a nine pocket folder, like I have here, this would be more along the lines of like 80 plus which is kind of crazy. So when I saw this one, this one on eBay was going for $50 shipped, free shipping, $50. Is it any good? Well, let me show you. So in order to utilize this binder, and you can kind of tell how huge this is, my hand is not that small, and you can see that this thing is a behemoth. And it makes sense because you're gonna be storing, utilizing top loaders. now. In order to utilize this binder effectively, you need a top loader. If you don't have top loaders, this thing is kind of obsolete. So when it comes to top loaders, you need to get the Ultra Pro premium top loader. If this premium, this word doesn't, it doesn't exist, you avoid it like the plague. 
Now, even with the premium ones, I've said this in a previous video of mine. Personally, top loaders, I've always been, it's always been a hit or miss. The reason why I say that is because, look at this, do you see that? That is actually on the opening of the top loader. And depending on your luck, you might receive top loaders that have this crap on it. Now, what is that? That's plastic. When the machine was cutting these openings and cutting these parts, uh, sometimes the blade wasn't sharp enough and therefore it left these pieces. This could damage the surface of your cards. Be very careful and you can clearly see you see all this spec? This is a brand new, brand new box that I opened just for this video. And you can already tell that there's some very noticeable problems with these. So when, just heed my warning. I know a lot of people in the card collecting hobby use top loaders. Personally, I'm not really the biggest fan, but for this video, I wanted to try it out. I got the Ultra Pro Premium. These, like I said, hit or miss. When you open it up, before you put your valuable cards in them, do what I'm doing here. Make sure that this edge here is nice and smooth. If it's not, if you run your fingers through it and you feel that it's very rigid and jaded, you want to avoid those like the plague. And that's why if you look here, notice here, I don't have that many in here. Why? Because I threw them out. Oh, or I'm gonna use them when I send cards out uh, if, I, if I sell a card. And the way I will ship them is literally I will sandwich it in between the two instead of actually putting them in because I don't wanna damage the card. But once you find one that's good, the second thing you have to do is look inside. Make sure that there's no plastic pieces inside here. If there is, it's going to damage your card. So again, these are all things that I really dislike about top loaders, but I know people use them, so I want to give them a shot. So what do you do? Well, you take one of your SP cards or your valuable collect cards that you want to keep in pristine condition. What I like to do is I like to double sleeve. I use a perfect fit cam c sleeve standard edition if you're collecting wise put them in as the inner sleeve and then this right here is the matte black from dragon shield i personally love dragon shield and you put the opening so they're opposite from each other so if the opening is here you push it in this way so this will completely seal off the card from any dust or any remnants that you don't want in there. Then you take your top loader and again, just be careful when you're sliding it in and just slide it right in. Make sure the top, later, top loader is clean. Now, I once you've done that, it's gonna look something like this. Now you might be like, Daybreak, where the heck did you get this baggie? Well, Ultra Pro makes them. It's called the Team Bags. So this one right here. And you literally take one of these out, put them in, and bam, even your top loader is now safe. Now, once everything is set up for you, we're gonna plug them into this binder right here. And the binder, side sliding binder, and guys, this looks freaking phenomenal. I love it. Um, there is some clear because of my the lighting, but this is going to be awesome. When it comes to the quality of the binder, the pages are nice and just clean. You don't see any wrinkling effects going on here. Also, the pockets themselves, I have a couple of these out. Like I said, I wanted to test them. They're snug enough to keep the card in place, but they're not loose to have them slide all over the place. So, I mean, these are going to be some great pieces for those of you guys who don't want to use or get your cards slapped like this or put into a case like this. So I think this is going to be something that I will probably uh, stick with for my lower tier items. Now these SPs are just here for show, but uh, I'm waiting on some screw downs and 
the one touch max so yeah that's why it's going in here for the time being but anyways this will be used more for me personally when it comes to like my higher end uh, like hollows but yeah i mean they do a very nice job the quality of the binder is great the binding looks very very strong even over here you might be like daybreak is i'm worried about this edge here does it affect here the answer is no if you line it up that edge goes right here so it's past that card so you're not going to have any issues so i don't know who created this binder but they did a phenomenal job it also has a zip a zipper right here so you can keep your cards extra safe when you're moving these things about. Now, something to note, I was questioning, I was like, why the heck for only, how many pages is this? Let's actually double check that real quick. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 pages, 12 front and back. And this binder is just huge. But I like that because obviously as you put more and more top loaders in, it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, with that said, because it has so much room to expand, I don't see, foresee that becoming an issue. But there you guys go. If you guys are interested in this product, real quickly, I am, have no affiliation with this particular eBay. -er. Uh, he or she didn't ask me to do this. I'm just doing this because I'm sure some people will want to purchase something like this. So I wanted to bring that out there for you guys. So yeah, you could invest in like the crazy expensive ones, like the $80 ones, the $100 ones, but I think this $50 one is perfect. It does the job it's supposed to and looks absolutely phenomenal. All right, guys, with that said, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to come by and just watch this video. If you like what you saw, leave a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and subscribe if you're new. And with that said, this is Daybreak748, and I'm signing out. Peace.